Yo, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel, and today is a damn good day. I'm not going to waste any time. Let's just get straight into it. Patrick Soderlund has resigned from his role as vice president of EA. Let's all have a round of a fucking applause. That wanker has gone. I don't use the word wanker loosely, but that man was a wanker. Any gamer who actually could agree with him in any way is truly not a gamer. He said we're all over entitled gamers, and which which want more than than we deserve. No, we want games to be back to what they used to be in the goddamn nineties, no two thousands, when they weren't all about money, and we got. Damn quality product for a reasonable fucking price. I don't think that's been over entitled. I think that's just wanting what we were promised. And we, we got like 15 years ago. But now it's all about money, money, money. It's not about the content. It's about making that money. It's about fucking over consumers. And he was one of the biggest bastards in the world for doing that. And he has gone. I don't know if that's going to make Battlefield 5 a better game in the, the three months before it's launch. I doubt it. But games going forward, we just need to get rid of Andrew Wilson now. And EA might actually start turning things around. We need to get them off the stock market so it's not all about goddamn investors. And they might, ladies and gentlemen, they might just start producing some good games. Now, if you clicked on this video, I think it was going to be a rant. Sorry to disappoint you. It is a bit of a rant, but I want to give some actual factual information. Let, let me just start by saying... EA, of course, didn't want him to leave. The money-making machine that was their vice president, why would EA want him to leave? He has made them damn banks since he started. And that's why gamers hate him. He's monetized all of his favorite EA games. FIFA used to be about football. Uh, Madden used to be about the football. None of it's about football anymore. It's just about making fucking money. The ultimate team modes that have sprung in and sprung up since he started working at EA. It's ridiculous, and it's made them tons of money. Some people enjoy it, but true gamers, myself, Angry Joe, lots of FIFA YouTubers, speak out against it. And I think it got too much for him. It, it started with the football games, uh, the sports games that EA made, and it spread to every single game they publish. Monetization has been a massive problem, and I think this man finally cannot sleep with what he's done to the gaming industry. And see now Activision followed suit, 2K followed suit, Warner Bros Games followed suit, every fucker, every publisher is following suit and it's damn depressing. Now it's, it's all good me saying EA just didn't want him to leave, where's the proof? The proof is in the pudding as I always say ladies and gentlemen, and EA offered him a 20 million dollar bonus. He got that regardless of leaving or not, they were giving him that to sweeten the package for him to stay and think damn I'm going to win a lot of money if I stay at EA. He left regardless. He must have some nasty shit on his conscience. Either that, which is, that's what I prefer. Or he's just made that much money, he just thought, I'm going to relax with my family. I'm going to buy me damn Ferrari, buy my damn Bentley. Um, go to my house in Dubai, I'm going to have a fucking blast. And before some of you say he wasn't the one who put microtransactions in, he had a heavy damn hand in it, so don't be so fucking naive. He was involved in absolutely every stage of a game's development as stated by EA themselves he was the main hand in Battlefield 1 FIFA damn all of EA's fucking games so don't give me that bullshit I'll, I know I'll get some EA cocksucker in the comments because there seems to be cocksuckers for every publisher every game developer everything nowadays and everybody gets so offended by fucking everything now, before you say, he was doing a good job. He was doing a great job getting EA to, to the top of the games industry. Do you want to know how much this man was paid? This is including stock as well. This is not all cash. At the end of the fiscal year, 2017 through to March 2018, he got $46 million. $46 million, whether that was in cash. I think in cash it was a million, and the rest in EA stock. That's a lot of damn money. The only person who earned more than that in the gaming industry last year was Andrew Wilson, who is the fucking CEO of EA. So keep that bullshit, keep that bullshit to yourself. So if you want to defend this man, then, Lord, I don't, I don't know, have at it. Defend the man who's earning more than every single person watching this fucking video while screwing us all. 
Now we don't know who's going to replace Patrick Soda. Just, just imagine this, ladies and gentlemen. Imagine if Michael Condry jumped ship from Activision to EA. Oh my God, I would piss myself with laughter. It's, it's been Michael Condry's secret plan all along. All along, he's gonna become the vice chairman of fucking EA. Could you imagine the scenes? Could you imagine the cod cocksuckers jump into his defence? Holy fuck. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I really want to say in today's video. If you did enjoy this video and you're happy with this news like everybody should be, smash the thumbs up. Let me know what you want me to do in the comment section below. Next time, follow my social media, especially my Twitter. They are all linked below. I love you all, and I will see you all in the next one. These girls wanna tie a kid down and keep me around But I would never change, I'm a dog, I'm a hound But I tell them what they wanna hear, they like how it sounds Till I'm gone with the wind and I'm lost, never found I met her at my show, then we smashed right after If we go three rounds, then she fall in love faster Very next